Now, hello and welcome to day 23 of The Magic. Now, first of all, I've just had a complete blunder. I just recorded the whole of this episode, was telling a really interesting story, was absolutely loving uh, what I told you all, and then realised that I hadn't plugged the microphone in. So now I'm going to try and tell the story all over again. Anyway... The first thing you might notice is the music is back in the background. Um, it means that I'm back home. Um, it's been literally the one word that I would use to describe the last few days are profound. The last few days have been literally profound. So I went to the Arthur Findlay College, um, which I mentioned in the last couple of episodes when I was speaking to you from the bedroom floor, funnily enough. Um, and I went on a course which was all about discovering the soul's voice. It absolutely blew my mind. It was a course organised by John Johnson, a really incredible Scottish medium. And we did lots of different things on the course. We um, went into exercises with the other students where we could um, read or sorry, speak to each other's souls. Um, and we would do readings, uh, readings sorry, um, kind of psychically. And then we would connect with spirit and, uh, with, well, communicate with those souls. So it was really profound and... Um, a lot of what they were saying in the course when I was sitting there, they would explain it so well and articulately, the tutors are amazing, but it would even, I'd, I kind of think after some of the things that they said, I needed kind of five, ten minutes to go away to allow my brain to process it because it was just so profound. So as soon as I arrived back from Arthur Finley, I met up with my boyfriend. Um, we spent the evening together and the next day we decided to go to Glastonbury because He's never been there before and I really wanted to take him to Glastonbury because he's on his own spiritual journey. And we go there and there is just been so many synchronicities. So I was just drawn to two books. Don't ask me why. There was hundreds of books, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books in this bookstore. And I was just instantly um, sort of drawn to two books, which we ended up buying. And then we got these two books home and we were just laughing because some of the coincidences that were happening, I could go into some of them, but it would involve me explaining a really long story. But basically, um, lots of the things that have happened recently just seem to be landing in our laps in terms of what we need to read, what we need to do, even us kind of coming together. So anyway, yesterday we went on this um, big long reading exercise together where I could barely get my boyfriend to put the books down that we got from Glastonbury, um, if I'm being completely honest. Then we ended up watching a documentary all about um, Ayahuasca, which is um, a tribal um, kind of it, I'm going to do this completely injustice, but I will try and explain it the best I can. It's basically a drink that's been drank for um, hundreds of years by tribes. And um, we watched this documentary about a shaman who uses it basically to allow people to kind of get deep within themselves, release trauma, and they get a whole new perception of the world. It's such an interesting documentary and a... and. Um, there's some really well-known individuals on it as well. So well worth a uh, watch. I think you can watch it on Amazon, um, but really interesting. So it's, uh, yes, it's just been a weekend, a profound weekend of getting lots of knowledge. And um, yeah, it's, I found myself getting really interested in kind of uh, the Celtic, the uh, Druid, um, the Merlin, and all of this kind of shaman tribal world and um, my boyfriend seems to keep pushing my spiritual button because he seems to be very deeply um, interested in all of this as well so anyway that to one side I do think that day number 23 has arrived at just the right time because I have been thinking so much over the last few days about the greater universe that we live in and how profound it really all is and I think the chapter um, that has a quote from Isaac Newton really sums it up well. So the quote is, when I look at the solar system, I see the earth at the right distance from the sun to receive the proper amounts of heat and light. This did not happen by chance. Now, you have to think about that for a moment. Even that is a profound statement. This universe that we live in has been um, put together in a way that everything is so um, where it needs to be for everything to happen. And when you start thinking about it, how crazy is that? This did not happen by chance. And 
I really think that gives us cause to be grateful for that. You know, is there anything really more when you think about it to be grateful for than the oxygen we breathe? Without it, there'd be, not be us, there'd be no food, there would be nothing, there would be no life on earth. And I think that when Rhonda describes in the chapter that she used to give, um, when she thought she was giving a lot of gratitude, um, she would be just sweating out the small stuff in her little world and her day-to-day -day life. But when she began opening up her eyes to the bigger picture and the wonder of the universe, that was almost like supercharging her gratitude. And I think she really brings it home at the end of the chapter when she says, in ancient teachings, it is said that when a person reaches the point of being deeply grateful for the air that they breathe, their gratitude will have reached a new level of power and they will become the true alchemist who can effortlessly, effortlessly turn every part of their life into gold. Now, I completely believe that. I think that if you can be grateful for the very things um, that are surrounded uh, or embedded in nature, such as the sun, the water, um, the air, that is a whole new level of gratitude. And I can totally see through all the journey that I'm going on and everything that I'm learning, that that really is the greatest act of gratitude of all, is to be grateful for these absolutely miraculous things that keep the earth finally balanced and allow us to live here. So, um, yes, I know I've probably just rambled on for the last um, five minutes, but I feel that I've learned so much the last few days. And actually, I was starting to waver a bit with the magic around day 18, day 19. I was struggling with it a bit, but i have actually coming back today feeling so supercharged to embrace these last five days of the magic. The next couple of days, um, you're gonna notice there's no music again because I'm traveling with work. Um, but I shall be sitting on a bedroom floor, I'm sure somewhere recording this. But do remember, you can get in touch via the Facebook page, Soul Sync by Jason Paul, just as Debs has done. She submitted a manifestation story, which I wanna share with you. I love your manifestation stories. She basically said that she has sticky notes on her desk with thank you for the money, etc. Thank you for the good news coming to me today um, on her computer monitor and in her office. And um, obviously, we've learned about that in the past chapters. I have lots of post-its round as well. Honestly, my house is just covered and especially my fridge. I have all sorts of affirmations, things to be grateful for. And uh, they tend to, as I've said before, typically live on my fridge. Anyway, Debs goes on to say um, that she just finished reading these post-its and up on her computer pops an email and it basically says that she has overpaid for an air conditioning repair and she's got 300 pounds back. Now, if that isn't a manifestation story, I don't know what is. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Um, today, tomorrow's day number 24. We really are on the home stretch now. And as I've said before, one of the reasons I'm super excited to finish the magic is because I have got some amazing content to share with you. Honestly, I'm so excited for you to listen to some of these interviews. I'm really having to keep my lip buttoned and uh, not peek too early and reveal some of uh, the amazing guests that we've got coming up. Anyway, lots of love. See you tomorrow. Bye.